going to take a little bit of time tonight, not the whole class, but a little bit of time to talk about, is something that um, is disturbing to a lot of people that do angel work. I've heard from people here. I have heard from people that are not here. And this all has to do with Doreen Virtue. Okay. Most of you, or many of you know, that I took classes from Doreen, took what they call Angel Boot Camp, which is an, a week-long thing that you go and you immerse yourself into finding out everything you can about the angels. And, and then I took, the next year, I took a mediumship class from her. But Doreen, last February, um, became a born-again Christian, which is, that's her path. And guys, this is what I want to I want to bring up. She's become a born again Christian, and I don't have any problem with Christians at all. What has been troubling is that she has just recently come out with another post. She comes out with these posts uh, occasionally, and the latest one is all of the things that you need to avoid, including classes like this, crystals. Da, 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 da. Um, she, she goes on, she has a list that just goes on ad nauseum. And my situation, I do bless her. The fact is, is I still recommend her books. She would love to take all of her books off the market if she could. She doesn't have that ability. Hmm. And because she sold uh, the rights to, uh, you know, promoting them and stuff. But... My husband, like I said, I'm very, I'm very thankful for my husband because one of the things he said was, "My, you have to understand, my husband was raised a Southern Baptist, and he is now actually a practicing Methodist." But he said, "You know, I, I had a little bit of trouble when I first watched you doing all this." He said, "But he goes, I get it now." He goes, "Every God gives everybody different talents." He said. And I've watched you. He goes, and this is an amazing talent that God has given you. Because I asked him, I said, how do you reconcile what I do? He says, I watch how people walk in this door, and I watch how they leave. He said, and I've listened to the things that you come up with, and I know how they've affected my life. And he, I said, what about Doreen? He says, well, that girl, I think she's just on a plate of spaghetti. <laughs> and she just doesn't know where to go, where to gra you know, grab something. We are commanded to search. God wants us to search for the truth. So if the fact is, is if, if what I say doesn't resonate with you, throw it over your shoulder and keep searching. And the same thing for Doreen. Doreen, like I said, one of the things you must know that even all of the people that I was privileged to work with, um, you know, all of the Hay House, almost every Hay House author from, you know, a decade ago, I got to work with in person and really some tremendous people, but they are all humans and they all have their situations. And I will tell you for sure, um, I, how long have I been doing? I guess I, I got, uh, 2006, I guess I've been, um, working with Doreen for at least a decade. And how she has changed over that time, I've watched it just on some of her videos. There was a while back where she was in Hawaii and on a farm and she was doing all of these, and she kept getting flakier and flakier. And I was like, Ooh, this is not the woman that I knew. <laughs> but she was on her path. So I just kept blessing her and let her go. Well, as of last February, she came and she's decided that she is a Christian. And I bless her on her path. But my, my thing I feel really badly for her is the fact that she is now not just judging people. She's judging and condemning people for their belief systems. Mm -hmm. And what I would like to say to Doreen is, hey, Doreen, Christ didn't do that. Jesus, when he was on the planet, did not go around condemning people for what their belief systems were. And basically, that is what she is doing. And she's her basic belief is now, 
unless you get guided through um, a cl clergyman of a proper religion or their counselor, you can't, you can't do this on your own, period. I know that's not true. And she's also saying things like, demons are disguising themselves as angels. Okay. Now, I want you to think about this. If you think about a demon, what does it feel like? Cold, prickly, hard, horrible? Angels never make me feel like that, ever. And you all know, every time I do a class or a reading or a healing, I always, and I tell you the same thing, call in Michael and the angels first. Make sure that you are surrounded by God's angels because the only reason they were created was to help us. They're emissaries of God. Hello. <coughs> so a lot of people are really upset about Doreen. And I do have to admit it would be pretty hard if I was just opening up now and I'm like, yeah. And I go to the library and I pick up a book and I go, Doreen, oh, I think I'll do some research on her on the internet. Oh, oh goodness, oh goodness. Yeah, that would be a bit confusing because she is, she's absolutely turned herself totally off of everything spiritual and put herself totally into her Episcopal faith. And as I said, even her son, um, Charles, who I got to take a class with him from his mom, Charles still does angel work. Um, and I do, you know, I, I'm not mad at Doreen and I don't feel any of those because some people are really angry and they feel betrayed and all that. I just, she's on a path and she is doing her own search. Now, if she's going this way and I choose to continue to go this way and all of a sudden she's going that, that's her path and I bless her on it. I don't get mad at her and I don't get mad at me. If you are trying to do this and you're trying to honor the planet and God at the same time, that's all. And you can call God whatever you like, higher self, universal mind. I happen to call God, God, you know, that's, that's my choice of word. It's all semantics. But anyway, if anyone has any questions, I'm more than willing to answer those. But I felt like because I've really been, particularly since Doreen did this last little uh, post of all the things you need to stay away from, which is basically everything I believe in. Uh, yeah. So isn't that fear? Isn't that you fear? got it. Yeah. Isn't that fear? Yeah. yeah. And there's only two things that are real, love and fear. And she's in a state of fear. So How could she be that way through all she's been through? That's what I wonder. I, like, I tell you, I don't know what happened. I'm not privy to her yeah. path. All I can say is I watched things happen as I watched her videos and stuff that she put on YouTube. I'm like, woo, who is this woman? She just kept getting stranger and stranger. And finally, she just went to a place that I don't understand. But as my husband said, she's still searching through for the truth, even if she's a girl on a plate of spaghetti. You know, I just thought that was perfect. You know, you're sliding all over the place and you're looking for well, what the she, path is. She said that Jesus came to her. Yeah, I know. I realize. And that's and she believes that. So that's fine. My other situation is is uh, twofold is the fact that she keeps quoting passages in the Bible. And you know you, anybody can do that to um, justify it. Justify, yeah, they can take it out of context, which is what she's doing. She keeps taking things out of context. The Bible also says women are supposed to be men's chattel. We're supposed to be owned by, you know, men. So, so you know, you take things out of context, which is what she's doing now. And I, like I said, it's not something that's not something that, like I said, even many Christians... Um, don't follow that. But I gotta bless her because wherever she's going, she needs to do that. I just feel kind of really badly for her in the fact that she needs to condemn others for not believing as she does. And But again, that's part of her stuff. And it goes back to what anybody thinks of you is none of your business. <laughs> what anybody else thinks of you is none of your business. You've got to be true to yourself. So when you make that connection with God and the angels, is it true for you? And if it's not, let it go, say bye, and go on your way. You know, but like I said, for me, I know how much I 
count on the angels and I get messages and I get help all the time and my life has improved vastly. Well, if she's if she's a Christian, because I, I grew up Catholic like you, mm -hmm. you follow Christ. You you follow Jesus. Yes. You exemplate what he did as he was in human yeah. form. Yeah. I again that's judge if and if you get get caught up into that rhetoric. The other thing is, is every single religion on this planet is man-made. Mm -hmm. Now we want to go back to um, the um, uh, Nicaea, the um, the creed. Yeah. No, but no, not the creed. Back to the time of Constantine, Constantinople, oh, okay. yeah. and the uh, Nicaean when they got all of the <laughs> people who really wrote the Bible together. I don't know if anybody knows this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This was all the um, people that were running the world. Mm -hmm. Seriously, all of the very wealthy. The, Roman idea of the, wel yeah. the wealthy yeah. all got That's together exactly. in a giant room and said, mm -hmm. okay, let's get rid of these, let's change this, let's they do the whole the thing. Bishops, and they got together and they decided what they were going to put It wasn't the just the bishops. It was yeah, like a whole I mean, group. But I'm saying, it, it yeah. was again, it was a way to control the masses, which most of the masses couldn't read. Mm -hmm. So it was a really good way to keep them in line. Let's get them out of power. <laughs> get <laughs> Let's out get them out of power. So anyway, I don't want to um, carry this on ad nauseum. If anyone else has a question, I, but I did want to bring that up. I There's um, Christine. What is the lady's name? Amanda? I don't know her last name. Oh. I don't have the name. There's a lady that has uh, a couple of other videos. <laughs> and I really, really, she's done three of them, and she's done doing videos about Doreen, too. She does videos every week on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And uh, really, really well done. Yeah. She, her stuff is really well done. So, much longer than this. <laughs> so if you want to go into it deeper, I, do, I really did appreciate her, uh, her work. So anyway, guys, follow, do your own search. Follow your own heart. And I thank you all for being here. And that's it. I'm Mary Jo McCauley, angelstalk.com. See ya.